Welcome everyone, this is Killtech. Today I want to talk about essential skills. And what I mean by essential skills are actually skills that uh, does not only affect one particular ship, but the most ships that you are using. So for example, if you would, uh, let's say, skill Minmatar's cruiser at the beginning, you would only get the benefits of this particular ship that means you get only those two bonuses and only when you are flying this cruiser so what are essential skills I would say let's move over to the navigation tabs and let me show you we have particularly a couple of skills here for example evasive maneuvering improved skill at efficiency turning and accelerating spaceship 5% improved ship agility for all ships per skill level. So, this is an essential skill to have because skilling those will benefit you the most at the beginning and those are the ones that you should get first. But before I go into a list of skills that you should have, another tip is not to skill one particular skill uh, from level 1 to four for example because uh, for example just just example numbers okay guys uh, level one would take you like 10 minutes level two would take you like two hours level three maybe 10 hours and level four above a day okay but uh, when you have the list of the essential skills you should first take all the lowest ones for example, let's say you have five of those at level one and five not even trained yet. So you would take uh, all that five to level one first. Then, or then you have ten skills at level one and you would list them to level two every, uh, each. So you would get in the shortest amount of time the most benefit from those skills. Also, we have navigation which increases the velocity of your ship, the velocity of all your ships. So these two are definitely a must have. Uh, for example, acceleration control would also be good if you are using afterburners and micro warp drives. Next up, we have engineering, which is also really useful because CPU management, for example, increases the CPU output of all the ships that you are flying. So this is a must have at level five. This means you can fit uh, more electronic stuff on your ship. Then also capacitor management. This increases the capacity of your capacitor. So you have more juice while flying. This is uh, particularly very important for uh, heavy energy using ships like Amar particularly or uh, for hybrid weapons the Galente and uh, the Kaldari not so much for Kaldari which are using missiles but even then when you are trying to uh, repair your armor or your shields having more energy is always good and by increasing the, cap uh, the amount of the capacitor you also increase the amount of energy that you get per cycle back. The next one would be power grid management. This gives your ship 5% power grid per level. So you can fit more stuff on it like better armor, armor repairer or heavier guns. I also would include weapon upgrades here because this decreases the CPU needs of weapon turrets, launchers and smart bombs so you can fit bigger guns on your ship. Also very important would be capacitor systems operation because this reduces per level 5% uh, the recharge time of your capacitor so you will get even more energy per cycle. Let's head real quick back to spaceship command because I just missed the skill spaceship command. This will improve the agility of all your ships by 2% per level. Next up we are in the armors tab and this is particularly good when you are flying only armor ships and here we have hull upgrades 
Full upgrades increases your armor hit points by 5% per level. So you have a bigger, uh, bigger hole, I guess. Also, mechanics will increase the structure hit points of your ship per level. Those two are definitely a must-have. In shield, we have uh, the same picture, actually, because in shield management, you get a, a higher capacity of your shield. With shield operation, you get a reduction in the recharge time of your shields. Those two would be would be the most interesting to have in the beginning if you are uh, shield heavy. So if you are only using turrets for fighting, then it would be also good to, for example, if you if you are going for medium projectile turrets to skill this one to level one and to skill all the additional skills also to level one to get the most benefit right at the at the beginning and those would be rapid firing for an increase in rate of fire in motion prediction for better tracking speed in sharpshooter for a bad uh, for a higher optimal range for surgical strike to deal more damage and of course you should also have a gunnery at the highest possible level because this will also uh, increase the rate of fire. Next one I would say this is controlled burst, but this depends really on the player. If you are uh, an Amar uh, or a Kaldari which are using lasers or hybrid turrets, then you definitely need controlled burst because this will decrease the, uh, the amount of energy that your turrets will use. If you are a Minmatar or a missile pilot or a drone pilot, this actually doesn't have any effect on you because the weapons and drones and missiles don't use uh, any energy at all while firing. The same goes to missiles. We have, uh, if you are heavily using missiles, you definitely should get guided missile precision, 5% decrease per level in factor of signature radius for all missiles. This actually means that you will be able uh, to hit smaller ships harder. Of course, missile launcher operation increase in rate of fire, rapid launch, also increase in rate of fire, target navigation prediction, this decreases the effect of speed that the enemy has, so you will hit, uh, for example, small really fast flying frigates even harder. Then we have missile bombardment, which will increase the maximum flight time, so you can shoot far, uh, more, um, more far away. And we also have missile projection. This increases the speed of your missiles. Then we actually have drones. And actually nearly all of the ships have some kind of drone capabilities. And I would say must have here is definitely drone interfacing. Because this increases the damage of your drones. Your drone drop shooting increases the optimal range of your drones. Of course drones itself. So you can operate 5 drones at a time. Drone navigation increases the speed of your drones. Drone durability increases the hit point. Of course you can uh, further expand on every skill here. Because they will all benefit your drones. I also would dip in targeting. Uh, especially in target management. But with this skill you will be able to target more enemy ships. But... This is still limited in the amount of targets that your ship can handle. Maximum locked targets 6. So I, I would say that the most important at the beginning are uh, those navigation skills and those engineering skills so that, you, that all your ships will be faster, accelerate for a better, have a better agility, you would have more CPU output, you, you would have more power output. You would decrease the CPU need of your turrets and weapons and all that jizz. Um, I would say that's the first thing that uh, new bros should get definitely and expand on those later on. Of course I'm not telling you to stop uh, skilling your ships level right now but uh, you should throw those basic skills really early also in because you will need them you will benefit the most from them. And this is just a little quick uh, tutorial for the new bros about essential skills. Also, if you want more detailed information about skills, 
just google for uniwiki skills there is an extensive amount of tutorials and information about skilling and how uh, everything affects and plays uh, that's where you get all the right stuff so if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask them in the comments please like and subscribe and see everyone next time kill take out